Welcome to Good Mythical More. What yogurt that doesn't have dairy is the best without dairy? Let's find out. Let's also donate $1,000 to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention to aid in their mission to give those affected by suicide a nationwide community empowered by research, education, and advocacy. The AFSP has given 30 years of service to the suicide prevention movement and is dedicated to saving lives and bringing hope to those affected by suicide. Please join us in giving at AFSP.org. AFSP.org, thanks for being your mythical best. Um, Sometimes I'll open up my fridge and there'll be just a new type of yogurt in there. Oh. There's so many yogurts out there. The and but when they're in my house, I'm like, ooh, what is that? And I'm, I always get excited because I like trying different yogurts. So, you, so you've never been like, hey, can we get this type of yogurt? Or like you're just saying, like you, you leave I it know up it, to. I know chance? it's hard to believe, but like it's the one, it's the one area in my life that I embrace entire surprise. Okay. You've 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 narrowed it all down to just yogurt. Yeah. Because <laughs> I thought you would have been like, oh, I don't I don't like that yogurt. I don't like the shape of that yogurt. That, sh that yogurt is too deep. Come on now. And, and what uh, happens to me when I'm eating that on, deep come yogurt on. is? I'm. I'm... Come on. <laughs> come I've, on. Now. I've said that I was being self-deprecating. So what's your favorite kind of yogurt? I don't have one. Just surprise. Oh, oh well, I should say, it it needs to have. It's either vanilla, it's the flavors, but it's not the brand name. Maybe today that'll change. So if there's a cherry flavored yogurt, you're gonna be all about that? No, I, I like vanilla and I like the raspberry and the strawberry and. So uh, you're talking about brands. I'll even, I'll even eat the cher cherry. No, I'm talking about flavors. You like fruit on the bottom? I like the different fruits. I mean, I'll eat a peach one. No, I'm saying or a blueberry. fruit on the bottom versus mix. I don't have a preference. What are you, we don't have any fruit on the bottom. I mean, Jesse used to get those, uh, what was the one that had the like fruit container on the side and you yeah. dump, dumped it in there? They also made like, remember the cottage cheese ones? There's cottage cheese and then there's fruit on the side. I have just in. gotten into cottage cheese. I, I am obsessed. Like, I kind of like cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese with it's like walnuts and uh, blueberries or dry, even like dried blueberries are really sweet. All right, so. So we're just tasting Brown cow, cream top, whole milk yogurt, cherry vanilla flavored. This is our only, this is like our control group. This is the only one that has dairy in it. So we're basically. It's good yogurt. We're determining the, the um, dairy free best. I got into that brand. What is a brand that does, they, they have a, a, a sub genre of yogurt called triple zero, which is like. Yes, yeah. and uh, Greek, I, I, like, I like at making an additional protein source that's not like a protein yeah. shake. 15 grams of protein in one of those, no fat. Yeah, I eat a it two, actually tastes good. I eat two cups of 0% Greek yogurt every day. Yeah, see, yeah. there you go. It's a really? great protein source. Live and active cultures? Oh, the most live, the most active. Okay. You're moving on to the Kite Hill? Kite Hill, uh, I, you love key lime. This is oh, almond milk yogurt um, made from live cultures. That's important for your gut. It, the thing about yogurt is it's, it's like, it's like pudding for. It's like fermented for, pudding. For, for, <laughs> for thoughtful people. Yeah, it's like, from, it's fermented pudding, yeah. That looks so thin, like yeah, it looks it's not good. As somebody who likes, I like key lime and this is not good. This tastes like, it tastes like rotten key lime. It's, it's very watery. So we're moving that out. That's not good, man. Just, what do you want me to do? Just reject it entirely? Let's put the ones we hate over here. Where are you moving to now? Peach and Mandarin? I mean, the ones we love, we can move over there. Chobani? So, this is oat. Chobani oat. I didn't know, man, oat milk, man. It's getting, it's getting around. It's really getting around. I actually saw some news report that was like. Look at that coloring. Is oat? Is oat milk going to topple the dairy industry? And it was just a sensational headline to get you to click on it. I did. <laughs> and it turns out that a pretty small percentage of milk is used as just milk. Most m milk that comes from cows goes into cheese and yogurt and other dairy products. Besides, it's like a, a, a smaller than you would think percentage goes into just straight up drinking milk. So in other words, 
Milk safe. This right here got some live active cultures. It's it's uh, it's shaky but runny. It's got a good taste in my opinion. That's good. Mm. I like that. Peach and mandarin together. I've never had that before. That's smart. Let's put I'm, let's put that in the top top slot. Now I don't know how they do it, but one of the things about oat milk that I like, and this is why sometimes I'll put it in my coffee and stuff, is is there fat in oats? I don't think there's fat in oats, but I think there's a little sugar. They're able to well no, but there's fat in this. Like there's three grams of fat in this, which I don't know where the fat is coming from, but I always thought that it had, that's what makes milk good. It has a fat in it. I think that they're able to replicate that with the ingredients in oat, oats hmm. somehow. It's the, it's the starch coming off the oats. That's why oat milk has like a lot more carbs than uh, almond yeah. like milk. And it's it's a good thing. It's a good thing. You're going to silk. Why are you, you doing a lot of shaking? Does it say shake on it? Shake or stir. It's up to you. New look, same great taste. Don't worry. Have you ever seen a package and you're like, oh my gosh, have they changed the taste? I guess if you're really loyal, new look, same great taste. That should be on a t-shirt. Put that on a t-shirt. Yeah, that's good, I like that. This is New look, same great taste, dairy free. Almond milk. Uh, almond that, milk does, uh, is it live and active? Does not make a good yogurt. That's the, con that's the conclusion I've come to. Cause I think we had two with almond milk. Wasn't Kite Hill almond milk? Yeah. Yes. It tastes good? No, it doesn't. It tastes like paste. Oh, you're right, the aftertaste. It tastes like paste. Yeah, I don't like it. So we're rejecting that one with the Kite Hill. Almond milk, man. Almond milk. I remember the first time I ever had oat milk. Oh my God, I was just about to ask you that. Like, I literally pushed the button of my mic to ask you, do you remember the first time you had oat milk? No, I don't. <laughs> uh, it might have been the first time you had oat milk, because you were with me, in all of our families. In uh, in Amsterdam. Amsterdam. We got up one morning and it felt like six o'clock at night, trying to get your day going. Kids are in a bad mood, because of the time change. I don't think you're accomplishing anything by shaking it. I don't, because I think it's completely mixed. Is it? I mean, I haven't shaken any of them. They all look and taste exactly the same. It does look like yours. You've been shaking yogurt all this time. It's just extra calories. The reason I asked you is because I thought it was the first time I had oat milk, but now I'm realizing that <laughs> I think that you were not in the coffee shop because it was in New York in the neighborhood that we usually stay in. Yeah. And um, what is I was at the coffee shop and I asked for almond milk and they were like, we don't have almond milk, we have oat milk. And I was like, oh, okay, this is the new thing to be snobby in a coffee shop with. Yeah, right. Uh, it is good though. It's, it's but... unusual to not have almond milk and just have oat milk. Oat milk was in short, short supply. No, you, you, if you're a snobby coffee shop, you have to make a choice to not have something so that oh. every time people ask for it, you can like you can put your nose up them. and just be like. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, we were in Amsterdam and it was. Um, That's good. Coconut and, milk and I was like. She was like, "Do you would you like oat milk in your oat milk in your latte?" And I was like, "What is your it? latte?" And it it has this cereal taste to it that I love. I just love it. Did you like this? I liked it not as much as the uh, the oat, but better than the coconut. So I'm, I'm I actually did like it. Yeah, um, vanilla cinnamon Sigus Sigus brings it. Oh, yours is already there. Um, you know that company Oatly? Well, they were like a sponsor for a while, and they like recently. I think they're talking about going public, right? They're like they like took a huge like yeah. They got oat milk is the future of milk. They came up big. They went down, got some oats, and came up big. There's a lot of yogurt in here. Now I don't know what it is. I'm gonna taste it first and then decide. But I can already tell you this must be almond milk. No, it's coconut. That's why it's not bad. Oh, it's coconut. Did you say that? Mm -hmm. Well, I just said it now. It's not as good as regular milk. It's not as good as oat milk. But it's better than almond milk. But coconut milk yogurt is still a thing that I will do. Does it have the live and active? There's whole, whole almost no pro. Why, why eat yogurt if you're not getting protein out of it? I mean, um, that's got less than one gram of protein in it. 
How much does this have in it? Three. Yeah. You gotta Sig get that triple zero, man. Sigus has a lot, right? And the real deal, brown cow. Let's has go. Has oh, only four grams. Let's go back to the brown cow. Haven't tasted all these and just see how amazing that that is. It's a totally different experience. <laughs> yeah. Like when somebody so finally thick. figures out how to replicate milk, like synthetically replicate it from something else, and it actually tastes just like it, like that will be a, a, a moment in history. I want to be around for that. So Chobani Oat takes it, y'all, with Sig is coming up close behind. Oh, there's fruit on the bottom. If you want to make sure that you get the protein, you heard it here. Oh, if you want to hear more from here, Found the fruit. Check out our Ear Biscuits podcast. It's called Ear Biscuits, and it's a podcast. We talk about stuff. Yogurt. Yeah. Um, the one coming up is when you talked about your solo trip, um, where you tried to find yourself. Did Rhett find himself? I found something. You'll only find a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, You'll yeah. only know if you listen to Ear Biscuits. Do that now. Enter the 2020 Golden Tea of Mythicality giveaway before October 16th for a chance to win one of three extraordinary prizes, including $18,000. No purchase necessary, void where prohibited.